Hey everyone, it's me, your girlfriend Dream, live here from my bedroom here in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, the seductress here from MissAtlantaThickDream.com and of course Rude.com forward slash ThickDream, the confirmed seductress of Rude.com and also I'm going to be Dream.blogspot.com and all my other social media pages and Facebook, Yvette Johnson, aka, you know, Thick Dream, aka Dream Johnson, if you will. I'm coming here today as a seductress slash, the sex slash slash intimacy consultant today. Guru, advice giver, your girlfriend, your lover, admirer, whatever you want to call it. All right, this particular um, entertainment clip is going to be about massage. How to, or giving you some tips on sensual massage. Uh, and I like to call what I do is evoking your seduction, if you will, evoking it. You know, you want to enhance it. You already know what to do, right? But we're just trying to channel that inner freak and make it percolate and bubble up and bring out all the good stuff in your uh, relationship or whatever you have going on, whatever your situation may be. Now, this particular massage is sensual and it is kind of involved, as I like to say. But it's, um, I want to say it's catered to the couples and those who are dating who've been together for maybe... Well, I would say four months or more, four months or more, give or take, you know, a little bit more. Not right off the bat. I would not suggest doing this type of massage to someone that you've just met. No, 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 too soon, too soon, too soon. Don't do that. But, okay, only thing that you would need, getting, getting, getting down to the ingredients and getting down to the good, good, good stuff. Um, uh, maybe like one or two lemons. I say one. Let's start with one. It's some water. Some towels, um, two hand towels, and two of the the two of the little washcloths and two of the hand gloves. Okay, you need two of those, and then two of the um, I say face towels. Sorry, face towels, the smaller ones, and then two of the hand towels. So a total of four face towels. Okay, two of them. What you're going to do is put them in the freezer. But before you do that. Because you're going to do hot and cold therapy. And you're going to do a little bit of aromatherapy in this um, particular massage. All right. And you're going to need some lotion or oil. I chose lotion, a man type of dove or a Vaseline or a man scented, maybe with a mild scented, a manly type of lotion. All right. And a cup or a bowl, a glass bowl that you're going to put it in. So with those four washcloths, two of them you're going to soak with some water and lemon juice. You're going to cut the lemon and squeeze the lemon and fold the towel up so and have them rolled up and put them in the freezer. Put them in a covered container or plastic covered container, however you want to do it, but don't make them to their rock hard in the freezer. Do not leave them to where they're just frozen enough to where you can just unfold it and do what you need to do. All right. However you choose to fold it, that's on you. I can go back and show you some little cute ways to fold it, but for now, Let's just do a basic fold, like how you fold a washcloth. What you're going to do is cut the uh, lemon in half and squeeze it inside of a, like a bowl or some type of plastic container. And it's going to absorb the water in those two washcloths, absorb the water. And then make sure it's just a little bit that is soaking, that it's not dripping, okay? And then you fold them up and put them in the freezer. But make sure that the lemon is, that when you pick up that washcloth, that you can smell the lemon because, you know, certain... Scents and lemon is one of them that'll help open up those pores and channel all the good energy in and all those good pheromones and stuff start going on. You know, I believe in that and I believe in a lot of different things natural um, to bring out your body's chemicals and to get a you know, good, good, good seduction. I, I'll be nice. I'll say, I want to say the other word, but yeah, to have a good session with your lover. All right. So those are going to be in the freezer. In the meantime, those two, the longer towels, the hand towels, you're going to wash those along with the other two washcloths that you have. So you're going to have four. And I say snuggle, downy, whatever your choice. Use some of that, um, about two cups, but put it on small in the washing machine. Put this on small in the washing machine, but keep it on the rinse. Don't wash the towels. The towels are going to already be clean. But put in um, about this much of uh, fabric softener, which is with two cups, two cups, yeah, two cups, anyway, and this is not rehearsed, by the way, as you can see, um, 
put those four towels in the small cycle on rinse. You're going to have two cups of downy, whatever your favorite liquid fabric softener is, okay? Now, while those are going, you're going to set up for the lotion. Pour some lotion in a coffee cup, in a microwave dish. Okay, have that set aside already. Now, as your lover, uh, your boyfriend, your husband, your yeah, that, that person in your life, as they're getting all relaxed, make sure they shower first because you want to clean, you know, a clean slate, a clean palette, as I like to call it, uh, when you are given this good massage. You want him clean. So set them up, and as I, I like to call it, set them up with a good little, you know, clean white towel and, you know, washcloth and some nice little soap, have a shower ran and everything, you know. I'm a seductress, so I'm very accommodating at times, so forgive me. It comes with being a wife for many years. Sorry. So anyway, um, he's in the shower. You're going to lay in the bed right there um, and fold some towels, double them up on the bed so you're not getting anything on the sheets and pull back the comforter. Like so, all the way down to the foot of the bed. So you're going to have two towels in the bed already. So when he gets on, he's going to air dry, whatever. He's going to dry standing over there. And he's gonna, you're going to have some candles. Make sure you have candles. That's always going to set the mood. And I hope I'm not going through this slow. I'll put some little footnotes and stuff on the side. I mean, I'm not going fast. <laughs> like I said, this is impromptu, boo-boo. But um, I know what I'm talking about. So while he's in the shower, you're setting up the bedroom here. Towels in the bed, sheets pulled back, comforter off the bed, all the decorative stuff off the bed. Because it's going to kind of sort of mess it back there, all right? Um, have some candles, whether you do Yankee, Bath and Body, Glade, whatever. Have you a few candles. Have a nice scent in the room, preferably before he comes in. Because men are visual. Men love aromas. Men love scents. Just like women, we do. We like good ones, all right? Remember that. Men are visual and they love scents just like we do. And it gets their uh, body tingling like so. Anyway, so you're going to have the candles, preferably before he gets in the shower, before he even comes in the bedroom, have the candles going. And scented candles, have some already in the bathroom, have some on the dresser, have some on the nightstand. Go in and have some little uh, maybe rain music playing with an instrumental going, low light or no light at all. Or have some type of like Asian music instrumental going on, just like you're at an Asian spa. You know, create that, oh, that experience. Oh, I'm helping you out, but I've experienced it. It is so good. So, so good. Like heaven, huh? Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting excited here. So, he's in the shower, all right? The towels are in the washing machine, all right? Sip. Put the oven on 200. Put the oven on. Have a cookie sheet already spread. So when the towels get done, what you're going to do, the towels are going to be already rinsed, but they're not going to have, they're going to be rinsed, but they're going to have that snuggle, that, that downy smell in them already, and they're going to be so soft. So what you're going to do is fold them up, put them on there. Now you may have to add some extra tap water just to put them in the oven so that they still have, you know, when you squeeze them, they're not like drenching wet, but they're wet because you're going to put them on him. So you're going to um, get them out of the washing machine, put them on the cookie sheet, hold them on neat and dainty like you do, you know. Make it look, give him that spa experience. Now, what I could do is just bring out the tray and show you, but I'm not going to do that. You come up with your own way, your own little unique way, and put them on the tray like you're the spa, and they're they're going to be hot. So you're going to put them on this metal, this metal cookie sheet, put them in the oven. So you have a total of two larger towels and two face cloths, right? Not the big body ones that you dry off with, no. You're going to have the hand towels. All right, so that's going to be on 200. All right, remember this. Towels in the oven, they already smell like snuggle. And now, these um, these last few tips, everything's going to go quick. The coffee cup. Squeeze the lotion inside the coffee cup, whatever the dish. And um, put just about enough, i say about that much in there. However big he is or however much you want. You want a lot to play with, to massage him with, do that. If you want to, I mean, but I would say get enough because you're going to have it on your hands. You're going to get nasty with it. You're not going to just put a little bit and just <laughs> on his body. No, heck no. That's not how you do my type of massage. We get nasty with it, all right? We get nasty. So put at least a half cup of uh, the lotion in the microwave. But just like when you do baby milk or any oatmeal or any type of liquid, be careful because it's going to bubble up and it's going to boil over into your microwave. And it's going to be smelling like 
allspice lotion, okay? Um, you don't want that. You might go and smell like swagger. So <laughs> learn that one too. Anyway, microwave the lotion in the microwave. Do that real quick, stir it around, make sure it's even not, make sure it's warm to the touch. You know what warm to the touch, not school. If you can touch it, I'll say, ow, then that's good. Warm to the touch, well, you can just feel it. Oh, man, you just want to rub it all over your body. That's good. Girl, that's good. So anyway, hopefully he's done out of the shower. He's laying there already. Oh, my God, back up, back up. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> One more thing that you need is some cucumbers. Cucumbers. You know how you put the cucumbers on your eyes and stuff. Okay, slice them where they're paper thin. This is good to do before he comes over. So hopefully you'll watch this video, not when you're doing it, but you'll watch it and you'll get all your tips before. Now, during it, please don't because I didn't do it in that order. Forgive me. Next video, I will have a different, you know, layout. I do apologize. So have some cucumber slices. I say six, depending on how much you want to layer, you want to double layer the eye section and the forehead and they're going to be cold cucumbers and they're going to be paper thin. So whether you have one of those little slicers or you're doing it by hand and you're chopping them up, either way, make sure they're thin, not too thick, make sure they're um, cold and not like soggy, no, make sure they are cold, they've been sitting on a plate, have them on a nice little, you know, sauce, have them on a nice little sauce. <laughs> put them on the sauce, uh, have them cold, and you should put them in there at the same time as you put in the top part um, the frozen face cloths, the citri citrus um, soaked, citrus soaked washcloths, the, the face cloths. Those are in the freezer, okay, with the lemon. And you got the cucumbers in the refrigerator, and then you have the steam towels in the oven. I'm doing all my little, you know, domesticated thing. And stuff. Anyway, so he's out of the shower. Now, you should let him choose. Is he going to do hot first or is he going to do cold first? Now, my honey chose the cold first. <laughs> so he, he's laying in here dry. So when he gets dry, your guy's going to be laying dry. I would hope so. Make sure he dries off completely. And, um, butt up, chest to the bed. So face down, ass up. <laughs> face down, ass up, all right? So if he laying down like this, he's going to lay down like that. He could do that. Or is he going to do face? Oh, I said face up. No, 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 no. Screw that, screw that. that. That's for the hot part, okay? Sorry. Impromptu video. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um. He's going to be face up because the cucumbers are going to go on his face with the eyelids and the, the forehead, you know, and the cold um, wash cloths are going to go around his neck and on his shoulders. You're going to um, alternate, okay? So remember that. So go in there and have your little stuff set up by the bed, on the dresser, whatever. Uh, have the cold. Starting with the cold, you're going to put the cucumbers on the face, on the eyelids, and then put the cold wash rags on the shoulders up here and around the neck. So it's going to be two, and you can just alternate. Have them right here first, or you can just wrap them around here. They're not too frozen and stiff. So let him sit for a little bit and talk all sweet and kind to him while he's, you know, relaxing and having his little spa treatment. Do that, okay? And while he's, you know, unwinding you're going to be checking on those towels that are in the oven that are on the seat. There's the steam towels. You're going to check on those and the lotion. Um, I don't recommend serving any type, unless you're doing, I do ice water, like a frozen ice water bottle. Have it that too for you guys, both of them by the bed. Or a nice little cool cocktail. You can do that. Um, I don't know how long, actually, that you should leave on the cold compress and the cucumbers, but I would suggest... When they start to thaw, it's time to go on to the hot therapy, as I like to call it, the hot therapy. Um, the lotion is what I would recommend doing first, the heated lotion. Work him, and he's going to be on his back, remember. So I'm, I'm all good now. I got all the little, I ain't did this in a minute, so I got all the nervous stuff out the way. So we good now. We flowing. We flowing. So anyway, he's going to be on his back, cucumbers on his face cold washcloths on his neck or shoulders 
whichever. So you're going to do his reflexology, reflexology, and you're going to do his feet. So you're going to be working on his calves and his toes and his feet and his ankles, the lower extremities. All right. That's what you're going to be working on. I mean, if you, you don't have to be a trained masseuse to do this. You can, I mean, I'm going to show you how. I put his foot on my shoulder. I went in. I'm, I'm doing this from his toe. Had his foot like this, squeezing in. And mind you, I had the warm lotion in my hand. I still had a grip on his foot, and I'm gripping his toes. I'm popping toes. This is his heel, and I'm just massaging him with the nails. Oh, believe that your girl went in. Um, each one just doing this motion right here, down to the middle of his foot, and just taking the foot, just doing this type of motion. It's natural. You don't have to go to school. So come on, come on, try it. Massage his feet, his feet are clean, toes are clean, you're doing that. And then, you know, I had his foot on his shoulder. And so we worked your way down to the calf, you know, squeeze and massage. This is the hand motion. Squeeze and massage all the way up to the calf. Go back down, rotate, do some little, you know, with your hands. Make sure you don't have any arthritis. <laughs> arthritis. So you're squeezing it all the way up to the kneecaps. Go on to the other side. So you're going to do that to the other side with the other hand. Go all the way up. You know, do the same thing. Have his foot on your shoulder. I mean, go in. This man you love, this man you care about. One man, you know, whatever the gender may be, you love this person. You care about them. You want to work on your seduction or you want to enhance it. Or you just want to say, I care about you. You work so hard, baby. This is what I want to do for you. So you're going to do the other side, all right? Foot on shoulder. Right here. Toes, pop the toes, you know, calf right here, still massaging right here, like you're playing an instrument. See that? Those, hey, you gotta be an artist. Look, <laughs> I used to play the viola, so look, look at that. Don't it look like I'm playing an instrument? <laughs> get it in, get it in. All right, so you know, you're doing those magic fingers and doing the motion. Then, once you get done with the reflexology, you're gonna go up to the nice area. <laughs> those thighs, the groin area, open it up. You know, we got lotion in there. You're going to be sliding, going up, going up like that. And then slide a little bit between, you know, the side, the genitalia area. Just slide and come back down. Just do your hands like that and just slide. Just tease them a little bit and come back down. Just slide a little bit and come back down like this. And steady moving your hands, all right? Oh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, getting comfortable. Now, what I would recommend while you're doing all this, um, like I said, say some sweet nothings. Uh, I mean, some things, not nothing. <laughs> and just, you know, oh, baby, I know you had a good day. And, oh, yes, yes, I hear you, baby. Just relax. Everything's okay, you know. I mean, I don't know. You know what to say if you don't. You know, inbox me. I'll help you with some little things. Just You don't want to get into a deep, deep, deep conversation when the person is trying to relax or something that you want out of them and you're trying to bring that up when you're trying to get them on a relaxed type mode and you want them to just unwind and feel good because you know that they deserve it. That is not the time. This is not the time to bring up that type of issue. You're giving them pleasure, and then you're going to just, at the same time, they're going to tense back up. So, no, don't do that. Wait. Probably next week for all that bullshit, right? Yeah, I think so, too. So, anyway, you're done with the reflexology of the calf, the feet, and the groin muscles and the genitalia. You're not going to touch the genitalia. You're just going to go to the bottom and, like, with a, you know, with, a, with the groin muscles and come up and come back down. Do that a few times. Just tease them a little bit. Um... And then, remember, he still has the cold stuff on the upper portion of his body, right? So we're going to remove that and let him sit and be like, oh, man, that was good. Take all that cold stuff off and like, hey, it's time to flip over. <laughs> and let them flip over. Go in the kitchen or already go in there and get the stuff that you have set up, um, the steam towels and the face off. Bring that out. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If they need some water, offer them some water. Um, because, you know, with all that steam and taking a shower, we become dehydrated sometimes, you know, by our body, you know, you already know that, you know, steam, water, drying us all out and just the whole environmental stuff that goes on with us. Anyway, 
I'm not going to get into the scientific stuff. Um, kitchen, steam, towels, cookie tray. All right, bedroom, nice thing. There you are. They're now to slip, um, flip over. I'm sorry. He's going to flip over to his back. Starting from the upper portion, his shoulder portion, put the larger, which is a hand towel, you fold it in half, put it on the top of his shoulder blade, put one there. But make sure if you can touch these towels and it's not burning the tip of your fingers, you're good. Now, if he's like, ah, you know, that's too hot, wait until it gets a little bit cooled down. And then apply it to his back, the upper shoulder blade. And apply another one. And um, at the lower part of his back is waist area. Because a lot of times, that's where men carry the stress. It's in the upper part and the lower part of the back. Okay, That's where a lot of our tension and stuff builds up. You can also apply numerous towels if you want to. Another towel in the middle. Um, or you can just don't even use those areas. Whatever, wherever you see his tent spot at. And for your person, it could be somewhere different. It could be in the middle of the back. It could be all in their shoulders, or it could not be anywhere. They may not show it. It could be all internal. Wherever you think that person may benefit the best by just touching at the skin, wherever the most tense and tight areas, that's what I would apply. Or where they may tell you where there's all oh, my stress in my shoulders, all oh, my lower back, wherever. That's where you would um, concentrate on put, applying these towels. For the treatment, the spa treatment. And also, what I did with those smaller washcloths, um, for this, the heated and the steam portion on the back end, I put them on his calves. Because a lot of the blood flow in the legs and stuff, um, you know, stroke and different diseases that we have going on, we need that good flow of our blood and, and blood vessels going in with that heat there, but it'll help. Um, with the calves, it's just walking and standing, this pressure will help release some of that pressure off of us. Anyway, you know I'm a medical assistant, or I'm just letting you know, and besides being a freak and a mom, et cetera, et cetera. So those two last face cloth, washcloths, whatever, we're all from different parts of the country. Some people say rag. Um, those two cloths are going to go on the back of the calves. All right? So those two, one on the left, one on the right. And during that time, while they're just chillaxing, you give them a temple massage, go around the other side of the bed and give them a temple massage. And that's when you might be, you know, you, know, you might not even have to say words, just massage his temples, give him some sweet kisses, him or her, give him some sweet kisses. As you're doing it, you know, that's where you come in and give him a little baby treatment. You're not going to say, wah, wah, you know, not, no, you know. So you're doing the temple massage. And you're doing the neck massage at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's easy. You see these hands still moving. That's the neck. And that's the temple, okay? Right here and right here. See that? Temple? This is a temple. And do it like that. You see how we do it that? And you do that at the same time and while he's getting his steam treatment, his hot towel therapy. Portion of the massage, okay? And you're doing that um, for however long until your fingers start cramping up. But I would say at least, I, I don't like doing too long on, on the temples and stuff like that. Um, maybe the most you can do is five minutes. I'm not saying, because this whole massage should take you about 20 minutes. You can take a little bit longer and go a little bit more sensual with it, a little bit more intense with it. But what I did after the towels came off, mm-mm. Your girl went in, all right. Um, I, I, I used my heated lotion, took those towels off, make sure he was clean um, with no water or anything. Now, the bed is going to get a little bit wet because, you know, those towels were undawing and, this, and the ones from with, already with the, um, out of the oven, those steam towels, the heated ones, the bed's going to get slightly wet unless you double up the towels in the bed. Um, mine got wet. I ain't giving it because it has snow going on. What is it going to do? Anyway, so... I went in, I'm on there, and I'm doing this with my elbow. Oh, yeah, I went in with elbows. I'm doing it up and down, up and down. Like, I was kneading dope like this. Ugh. Bro, I mean, you get to work out, too. And look at these hands and look at his arms. Oh, yeah, I needed to work out. So I'm doing this on his back. I'm going in like this. 
So I was like, you know, like I was in the kitchen making some pizza or cake or something. So I was like tenderizing the meat, get my elbows in it, like I'm doing, it, you know, some type of network. Hey, oh, get in with it, girl. Mmm. And had it like that, with the lotion and all on his back, and then I'm going up like this. So give him a little bit hard and give him a little bit soft. Do a little chopsticks. Chopsticks, you know, go down, start from the shoulder blades, go down. You better act like you know what you're doing. Like he paid you to get this done. <laughs> and so, um, with the legs too, when you get to the legs, you know how they do with the salon? They do this. Do that. Make sure you do that to him. All the way down the legs. And make sure you do that to get the good circulation going on. And then do those leg chops. You can blend it. Blend it in. Whatever you're doing, your combination of whether you're kneading or whether you're doing chopsticks or whether you're just doing just rolling with your knuckles. Rolling with your knuckles. Rolling in the day. <laughs> Got me rolling. Rolling. All right. So that's just about it um, for my evoke your seduction <laughs> central massage Asian style with Miss Atlanta Thick Dream. I gave him the spa treatment with the citrus soaked towels and the cucumber I want um not eye mask the cucumber soak. I want to, there's some little dainty cute words we can use later on, I don't know. The cucumber, um, get rid of your eye puffiness type thing. You gave him the cucumber treatment. You gave him the heated, let's say one, two, three. You gave him the heated lotion treatment and then the steam, the steam towels. Oh and, and also, oh, you can't forget five, these little things. <laughs> Your lovely, lovely magic fingers. All right. Um, I think that was a hell of a massage. Mm -hmm. And if you're done, all you gotta do is um, go into the sex. Oh, you make it. Hey, once you're on top and doing his chest and everything else like that, oh, when you flip him over, it might be on. But I would take some of that lotion off. And, you know, might be slipping and sliding and <laughs> don't wanna hurt nobody. Not in that way. But uh, yeah, just that's just the that's just the central part of your seduction, and um, it could be you could incorporate it as foreplay, or it could be separate. It might not even have to end with sex. That happy ending. It's just the fact that it's sensual. Um, you know, you could ride his face at some point during the massage and just get off of it. You know, kind of like a tease and denial. Why he's having the cucumbers on his face? You put six points down his face, and I mean that could be. And I, and I don't want to say pussy because I don't know what you know. Maybe some women don't talk like that. I'm sorry. I apologize. You can ride his face uh, while he has his um, massage, um, had his in massage mode with the cucumbers on his face. I'm sorry. When I said the p word, it kind of whew, put me in freak mode. I do apologize. <laughs> your girlfriend, your lover. Sex Life Intimacy Consultant Guru. Yes, that's me. So if you ever want to hit me up, inbox me. And um, I do have a business email, atlfitdream at gmail.com. Bye-bye for now. And have a good week. Hugs and kisses to all. Bye. And it was very important too, by the way. <laughs>